Hello and welcome to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song program. The nature of this program is to take a closer look at one of the hymns that has been written to glorify God. The hymn Count Your Blessings. God provides blessings to his people as we read in Malachi 3 verse 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith Jehovah of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. We also read in Ephesians 1, 3, and 4, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us, in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. In Psalm 139, verses 17 and 18, God tells us the response of his people when they say, How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. The beautiful hymn that we are about to hear called Count Your Blessings reminds and encourages the true child of God to reflect on the good things, the blessings that God has given us, especially when life's problems tend to be discouraging. Most people in the world and churches believe they have blessings if they have the riches that this world has to offer, such as wealth or power or physical beauty, etc., etc. However, By God's grace, the true believer knows that all of the physical blessings of this world are only temporary and do not fulfill our thirst for truth and righteousness. On the other hand, God's magnificent salvation is a spiritual blessing that eternally satisfies our spiritual thirst and all of our spiritual needs, as we read in John 6, verse 35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. If we literally try to count the blessings of God, we realize that they are too many to be numbered, because God tells us in Romans 8, 28, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. If all things work together for the good or the blessing to the child of God, we should be warned not to murmur or complain about our lot in this life because God tells us in James 1 verse 2, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. The first stanza of the hymn, Count Your Blessings, gives us wise instruction to apply when we are afflicted. It reads as follows, When upon life's billows you are tempest-tossed, When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. This reminds us of Psalm 42, 7b and 8, where God says, All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me, yet Jehovah will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. The second stanza of the hymn asks, Are you ever burdened with a load of care? Does the cross seem heavy you are called to bear? Count your many blessings, every doubt will fly, and you will be singing as the days go by. God's remedy to being burdened with a load of care is found in the following comforting passage in Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7, where God says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Stanza 3 points out that we will see others who do have the riches of this world when it says, When you look at others with their lands and gold, think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold. Count your many blessings money cannot buy, your reward in heaven, nor your home on high. It is sinful to covet other people's physical possessions, but it is worse to chase after the false gospels that the world boasts. Psalm 73 discusses those who are with their spiritual lands and spiritual gold of false gospels. We read in verse 3, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And in verse 12, Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. And then in verses 16 through 19, When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of God. Then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou casteth them down into destruction. 
how they are brought into desolation, as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors. God has revealed that in a moment is a synonym for the day of judgment that began on May 21, 2011, and will likely end in the year 2033 with the destruction of this universe by the will of God. But just as stanza 3 also reminds us to think of the spiritual promises and wealth and reward that we have in Christ, God's word, the Bible, wraps a bow around these unspeakable gifts. In Genesis 15, verse 1, we read, After these things the word of Jehovah came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And in Luke 6, 23a, we read, Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. Stanza 4 of our hymn declares, So, amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be discouraged, God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you till your journey's end. We don't understand how God uses his spiritual angels, but he tells us in Hebrews 1 verse 14, Are they not all ministering spirits, sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? And now the hymn, Count Your Blessings. You are tempest tossed when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost. Count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Are you ever burdened with a load of care? Does that cross seem heavy you are called to bear? Count your many blessings, every doubt will fly. And you will be singing as the days go by. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. When you look at others with their lands and gold Think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold Count your many blessings money cannot buy Your reward in heaven or your home on high Count your blessings, name them one by Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be discouraged, God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you to your journey's end. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them You've been listening to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song Program. If you enjoy listening to our programming, we'd like to hear from you. Write to us at eBibleFellowship at Juno.com.